Thank you very much, Tijani. And um, I must say, it's always a very emotional moment for me to uh, be at, at one of these showcases. Um, as was rightly said earlier, Afralo was one of the pioneers in bringing this concept of a showcase. And it's one of these things that is getting um, attended by everyone because it actually shows the reality of the people in this community, the, the, their private life, the work that they do in this community as volunteers, and the work that they do also back home. It's really important um, to realize that this community spans all five continents and, of course, or all five regions of the ICANN uh, model. And, of course, Afraldo is one of the largest uh, regions and one of the most diverse as well. Um, it's uh, a continent that has so many languages. It's, um, it's okay, through English, of course, we can all correspond, but there are, I remember um, hearing in Congo, for example, there are hundreds of languages, hundreds of dialects, and that's the case for all of the countries uh, out there. So there's a huge diversity. And at the same time, it's also a continent that is very challenged as far as technology. The distances are huge. The <coughs> development that is needed to bring internet is sometimes very large. You need to invest, you need to, to work at it. And um, it's, a, it's unfortunately a continent which I think that I can in the past might have forgotten in the early days. But that has changed, and I'm glad this is changing and has changed. Through the appointment of Pierre Dangineau, uh, through, of course, uh, now we have Nick Rainer as well, who is taking on a leadership role. Um, through uh, all of the people in this community who have been fighting very hard to make this community what it is today, and to continue making it grow, um, we can say that um, this is a path to success. And I'm very, very proud of all of the people who have made this um, what it is today. In the early days, um, I remember the uh, uh, preparation of the first uh, summit, there were lots of questions. What are we going to do? What can we do? And, um, well, they did it all by themselves. Her, in the initial stages, it was very difficult to get funded, etc. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that Google has managed to fund some students to come to expand this community, to get more young people involved, to get people involved from all across Africa. It's really, really important. And um, this is, of course, all thanks, or I would say partly thanks, let's not give him all the credit, partly thanks to our, um, to our president and CEO, the new president and CEO, one year in office already, Fadi. Um, and so without any further ado, I will introduce Fadi Shahadeh, President and CEO of ICANN. They, they try very hard to keep me behind the podium, but it's difficult and I know the camera will not be happy, but I can't stand behind podiums. I had the distinct pleasure last night to meet with many of the leaders of Afralo and the other rounds. It was possibly one of the best meetings I've had in my year of life. Because there are many meetings one attends. Today alone I must have had 16 of them. But there are meetings that leave you a different person. Where when you walk in, you have a certain understanding and a certain belief and a certain view and you walk out and when that happens, when the exit is different than entrance at a meeting, at the end of a long day yesterday, you know that there was something special going on. And yesterday I had one with all of you, many of you here at our table. So first I want to thank you personally for taking the time. Uh, two hours we were all standing. Uh, around a, a small table like this and just talking to each other. And the more I hear about each of these structures that make up this great quilt called at large, I am deeply humbled. It is really remarkable what each of you do in your own area. 
And I know we sit sometimes at our board meetings and our big meetings, and we think the world runs through our meetings. But you know what? The world actually starts just where you showed me yesterday. In the little activities that each of you do in your own regions. Steadfastly, quietly, taking away family time, taking away family treasure. Deciding each of you on your own, away from all the headlines that I face every day. On your own, you do the right thing quietly in your communities. You know, this is the greatest work. This is the greatest work. And as I shared with Olivier and Sébastien, who represents you on the board of ICANN, I must admit that it took me a year at ICANN to start seeing this treasure that you have in this community. It really took me a long time, despite them chasing me from the very first day to take the time, take the time, come and meet with this community, try to understand what you do. Recently, some of you know, I attended for the first time uh, a meeting of URAL, the European URAL. They invited me to meet their council. And as usual, <coughs> the way it was set up is I was to come in, you know, give my little speech as I'm doing now, uh, and, you know, go to my business. And they were to continue. And I was exhausted. I had just landed from the United States to the meeting, which was in Portugal. And I came, I gave my few words, and then I said, hey, can I stay just a little bit to listen, to learn about you? I couldn't leave. Several hours later, I was still there listening to the depth and the richness of the dialogue that was happening around the table. And with all due respect to my chairman and my fellow board members at ICANN, I think it would behoove us to go and attend one of these and watch how our community at the edges actually has enormous riches to the ICANN fabric. It's happening all there right now. I saw it. And that's why yesterday I took the time with the leadership of Olivier and Sebastien to meet with many of you again last night, many of the leaders of the Rambos, to learn more and to just understand who you are and why you give up so much to be here. This is actually the secret legitimacy ingredient of ICANN. Why I call it secret? It shouldn't be secret. It just happened to be, through circumstance, secret. It's on the edges, and we don't get to it. And if we are committed to what we said, if we do what Mahatma Gandhi told us, that our actions should express our priorities, then we should start here with me by reaching out to the edges. We tell the world we're coming out, we're bringing ICANN to the world, we should start right around the state, right around the Rao community. So I must tell you, I want to thank you for the opportunity I had again this time to leave changed. And I went after I met you and I spent time with my leadership team and you can ask them to tell them about what I heard last night. And one of them was very upset with me because she couldn't make it to this meeting. She wasn't invited. And she, when she found out what I learned and what I touched on. Especially your story, Fatima. So, we're here to celebrate, and we saw a great celebration today of our Zulu dancers. This is Zulu land. Uh, this is a land of hope, a land of happiness. Uh, Afralo is an innovative leader. We should remember that. Africa is an innovative continent. We forget that. We live in the West and we think all the innovation happens our side. Let me tell you something. Most mobile innovation in the world right now is happening here. Right here in Africa. We could learn from Africa right now. We could learn about a lot of things from Africa. But on technology, which we think we have the edge on, it's happening also and extremely well here in Africa. There is a lot going on. So Afralo has a very important role right now. Because as Africa grows, as Africa takes off, as Africa now leads the world in economic growth, the role of Afralo becomes uniquely important. 
to bring the constituency from the edges into the ICANN process. So that the ICANN process is indeed imbued with the wisdom of Africa, with the innovation of Africa, and with the people of Africa. So I particularly send my welcome to the 16 people from South Africa for being here, for taking the time away from your studies. They're not in their summer holiday, by the way. They're in school right now, right? Most of you have sessions going on. So they are uh, also leaving their work to be with us to learn. I hope you learn. I hope you participate. ICANN is for you. ICANN is open. ICANN is free. We have absolutely no requirement for you to be a member, to come and sit at this table and participate. Very few organizations in the world do that. We're, we're here for you. We're here for you to participate, to grow, to learn, and then to enrich us as well. So welcome, and thank you, Fran, for making that possible, uh, and for the people and the companies that supported this effort. We appreciate that very much. I hope your week is uh, going to be as superb as I know mine will be. I hope you have good experiences here. Reach out. Don't let focus solely on what happens in the rooms. Uh, Thursday there are some activities uh, outside this room. Uh, every day, if you can, take a moment, step outside these rooms, meet with people, uh, look at their badges and introduce yourself. I was recently at a meeting in Switzerland, in Davos, where the rule of the, of the meeting is you can go up to anybody <coughs> and look at them and say, hey, you know, I'm Fadi, I'd like to meet with you. Completely open this way. So if people, if you feel okay to do that, do that. That's the right spirit. Go and talk to me, talk to me, any of us, anyone here, approach them. And if someone approaches you, please be open. Please show the empathy that our chairman today asked us all to make a central part of our ethos. He said efficiency is good, effectiveness is good, but how about empathy? And empathy is not cheap, superficial empathy. Empathy is deep, it's personal, it's real, it's human, it's everything Africa is. So thank, thank you for walking. And good luck to all of you.